Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Wilder. I'm the rector of St. Anne's Episcopal Church in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and this is this week's COVID-19 update. Um, it's, Tuesday, it's Tuesday, so we uh, have met this morning as clergy and lay leaders from around the diocese and have heard, um, you know, not much in the way of updating us today. Um, Last week, the update included that local leadership would be able to make some decisions about wearing masks when singing or not wearing masks when singing, as long as a person is um, fully vaccinated and boosted. The vestry will take this topic up during our vestry meeting this coming Sunday, March the 20th, and any um, changes to our guidelines at St. Anne's will be communicated out to the parish after the vestry meeting. I will say that um, our bishops, Bishop Ann and Bishop Sam, are away in Texas for the House of Bishops meeting, and they're learning some important information that will impact what we're able to do um, as a community of faith at St. Anne's. And they asked, Bishop Ann and Sam asked um, for the our patients as they will give us a, an update on uh, the Common Cup uh, on March 29th, as well as passing the plate again during the offering. Um, again, both of those updates are coming to us on March the 29th, and I will communicate out to you all in this fashion what it is that we hear. So not much in the way of COVID-19 updates. I will say that our statewide positive case rate uh, as of yesterday at noon is 2.6%. And in Forsyth County, it is 3.3%, a far cry from the 39% that we had about a month ago. So well done. And we will continue to have masks optional for fully vaccinated and boosted people during worship, except for singing and that except for singing may change as of this coming Sunday's vestry meeting. Since you're here, I might as well ask you, um, there are a couple of things happening in and around the church in the coming weeks. Tonight is our first laundry love after two years. We're gonna meet at the Fresh Spin off of North Point um, Boulevard, and um, we need about four volunteers. I think we've got at least three coming. We could always use one more. 5.30 will be our orientation, and 6 o'clock will be our first load of laundry love since February of 2020. Also, um, the welcoming committee, um, Beverly Gosnell and Sharon Hamill, are putting together dinner groups. So uh, if you would like to participate in the dinner groups, which is a group of about six to eight people meeting in people's homes for dinner once a month, um, there's a sign-up sheet here in the parish hall, but if you're not near the parish hall and you want to sign up, just send me an email or give me a call. I'll be happy to put your name on the sign-up sheet. And um, we're still looking for volunteers to help us with our first neighborhood Easter egg hunt coming up on Saturday, April the 16th. So lots of lots happening here and around um, St. Anne's and through St. Anne's and um, it feels good to be crossing to the other side. Um, so that'll do it for me. I will pray for you. Please pray for me, and I will see you again soon. Take care, and God bless.